Hey guys, um, so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up your Beta FPV controller to fly the simulator. Um, the specific controller I have, if you pop off the little tab on the back there, it'll tell you which one you have. Um, this is the Light Radio 2 SE. And um, with the toggles and everything, so. All right guys, so. I have my little Cetus Pro manual here that came with the Cetus Pro kit. Um, I'm on like the last page, page 40, and it's showing you how to use the controller for a simulator. It says turn it on until the light is blue on the controller, plug it in with the USB cable, use the provided cable, a uh, third party may not work. Um, and then it says a correct driver will install automatically a box pops up. Okay, for me that didn't happen. So, um, let me show you what I had to do. So, let's plug it in. I've got the blue light on. I made the little sound, so it has connected officially. Clicked on the little search tool there, <clears throat> and all I did was type in joystick. Because that's what it says on here, it should pop up as, as joystick. So I typed in joystick and it brought over this little sidebar here. It says, set up USB game controllers. So I clicked that and immediately it brings up this little box here. It says controller status, beta FPV joystick, okay. All I do is hit okay. And that basically installed the driver. I did it a dozen times last night because I wasn't sure if it actually worked, but. So first step is to turn the controller on. Wait till you get the blue circle. Then plug it in. You'll go through the whole download the driver sequence. Once you have the driver downloaded, you'll unplug it, turn it off, and then you'll plug it back in to use it for any FPV simulator. That green light means that you're ready to rock and roll for the simulator. And you can see over here, the icon in Skydive is actually green, so. So now let me show you the simulator that I downloaded for free. What I've been using is this FPV Skydive. It's not amazing, but it's free. Uh, to get this, I had to download it from Steam. So step one, I had to create a Steam account. Search, typed in Skydive, where it allow you to download it. It took me two minutes to create a Steam account, and from Steam I was able to download um, FPV Skydive. So now that we have FPV Skydive downloaded, this is it actually running on my other monitor over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna calibrate it. We've opened up Skydive. We're gonna go ahead and calibrate it. We have to do that before we do anything else. So I'm gonna hit this calibrate button here and FPV radio transmitter. It's gonna run through about a 20 minute um, segment where I have to indicate like what switches and all that are gonna control all these movements on the simulator. So we go ahead and hit FPV radio transmitter. I'm gonna try and nail this because it if you mess up, you just have to do it again. Go yaw, up, side. I'm gonna do rotate all the joysticks. Center my sticks here. It's gonna ask which ones I wanna do. Restart, I'm gonna use this switch. Arm, I'm gonna use the arm switch. Flight mode, I'm gonna use the top switch. And then basically on the side here, you'll see all those little check marks. That means that something on the controller has been assigned to each one of these. And that's it. Once you're done, just hit back, go into fly, and you can do racing, challenges, well that's coming soon. Multiplayer, freestyle, I've been kind of mainly just playing with freestyle. Uh, these are the maps you have. I've flown all of them for a little bit, just trying them out. So far this is my favorite. So let me get in here and let me show you how this thing actually works. I mean, I'm terrible at it, so don't judge me too harshly, but I have been getting better. But just so you can see that it does actually work. 
Girl. Again, I'm not great, so. 